couple camping to go when the pandemic forced an overnight camp for kids with special needs to cancel for the second year in a row. Organizers came up with an alternative. Yeah, Emily DeVoe explains how they're delivering the magic at Camp Quantania to the classroom to reach more kids than ever before. It's a week of canoeing, horseback riding, and being outdoors that kids with special needs look forward to every year. It gives my son an opportunity to do something that all kids should have an opportunity to do, you know. When the pandemic forced Camp Quanania to cancel last March, Lindsay Willis's son Ben was one of the scheduled campers who missed out. He loves it so much. You know, we've got a little photo album of, you know, all of his camp pictures. And, you know, he just knows when it's getting close to time and he's got his book out and he's flipping through pictures. And it was it was heartbreaking um, to have to tell him that he wasn't going to get to go to camp last year. So this year, organizers came up with a plan to bring the camp experience to even more kids like Ben even if they won't actually be leaving the classroom. We're providing the content and the activities as well as every single supply that they would need to complete those activities. So we're taking some of the burden off of the teachers themselves to have to provide those things for their students. And from a student's perspective, I hope they go home and tell mom and dad how much fun they had at camp in school. Instead of the typical 150 campers, the classroom program opens it up to more than 500 students across three counties. In Ben's class, he'll be a bit of a camp expert. I kind of think that he's going to have this sense of pride um, when, you know, they're doing things that are very familiar to him and he's getting to show that off uh, to his friends. While they hope to host camp in the traditional sense later this year, Executive Director Jackie Pearl is grateful they can at least offer some consolation to the kids and a break for the teachers. Hopefully it opens their, their family's eyes to what this experience could be when it is in person and we see a lot of new faces at our in-person camp starting in the fall. And you can only imagine what that reunion will look like after nearly two years away from camp. You are just going to see these kids just light up. They are going to be so excited. Their parents are going to be excited. <laughs> I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. Well, many of the activities the kids are doing in the classroom this week are things they would have done at camp, like planting a basil plant outside and taking part in science experiments. It's yeah, a special a, place. You and I is. both have been there, and Amazing. anything they can do to recreate that experience is special. Totally agree. It gives the parents oh, time away yes, as well. You know, which is great. Tremendous.